I'm glad we're away from Port Charles. This uh, environment's easier to control in Puerto Rico, and there's a lot more things that Avery can do to keep her occupied. Well, per your request, the head of security added extra shifts for all of the guards before we arrived, so it's more secure than normal. Uh, just make sure you're on top of it. I am, and he seems satisfied with everything, but I'm gonna go over all of it myself to make sure. All right, all right. You've really gone above and beyond. You don't remember this kind of security last time I was here. Times change. So do threats. I'm gonna go walk the perimeter. Check back in with you later. Looks like you're about to jump out of your skin, Abe. <laughs> well, I could use a little something to calm my nerves, you know, preferably something with a little umbrella in it, if you know what I mean. <laughs> We're in Puerto Rico, is that what you're talking about? <laughs> you know, I was on board when you said you wanted to come down here. I thought it would give us uh, all of, some more room to breathe instead of being cooped up in the penthouse. But now that I'm here, I just, I feel so exposed, just out here I'm like this. I'm making you open. as secure as, as I can, Ava. Well, Avery doesn't seem concerned at all, does she? She, she practically sprinted from the tarmac to the beach. Avery loves the ocean. <laughs> and she's, you know, she's secure with the guards that I have her with and the nanny and no one's gonna get near her. Okay. It makes me feel a little better, honestly. You gotta stop making yourself crazy. All Avery knows is she's in Puerto Rico having fun with her parents. Mm, well, she's not such a little girl anymore, you know. And she notices more than you may think. It won't be long before you'll be having to have some pretty difficult discussions with her. Discussing my business is off limits to my kids, just like it's off limits to you. Because I want you, yeah, it's, it's just safer that way. Now, you haven't been discussing anything with Avery, oh, right? of course not. She's too young to understand anything about that. No, I'm talking about the other radioactive subject that we've all been avoiding, Nina. Now, I know you think that you're, you're hiding it, but it's all over your face. I can tell this situation's got you all tied up in knots, and being here can't help any. This is where you and Nina were married. I'm sure it's bringing up all kinds of uh, feelings. I'm fine. Are you, though? Because I saw you when we ran into her and Valentine, and you didn't seem fine, Sonny. You looked like somebody punched you in the gut. Discussing Nina is off limits. OK. All right, fine. I'm just bringing it up because our daughter is smart. And if I can tell that something is off with you, then so can she. Donna and Avery are just kids. I've done my best to shield them from anything that's happened with Nina. And I think I've done a pretty good job because Avery hasn't asked me about it. She's asked me. 